have a look here at the depiction on the top, I have what will be a cylinder integral, an ideal integral for determining the volume of a cylinder. In the graph at the top, we have a vertical line x equals r. I have two important coordinate points, r comma zero and zero comma h, which delimit the radius and the height of this cylinder. You can see in blue, there's a cross-sectional slice which has a certain radius. If you were to rotate this depiction around the y-axis, essentially that vertical line around the y-axis, you're looking at that cylinder form towards the right. You can see the area of each cross-sectional slice is pi r square. You integrate this pi r square, the slice from a lower limit is zero up to an upper limit h with regards to dy. Carry that definite integral all the way through to completion and you end up with pi r squared h which represents the volume of a cylinder where the rotational basis is around the y-axis. A similar exercise can be done for everything around the x-axis.